All right, so me and Dad have been working on this chopper, getting the KP in there, the kernel processor. So um, that sits down in here. That's down in there, and it's the rolls that the uh, that the silage all goes through uh, in order to crack all the kernels of the corn. That way, uh, the cows can actually use them and break them down. Because if you just feed straight corn to the cows, just the straight grain. It's just gonna pass through them. They're not gonna get any nutritional value out of it. So by running it through that KP, the kernel processor crushes that and, and lets the nutrients out. Um, so that way the cows can actually use it. But uh, anyway, so we got that in. Um, that's not as easy as it sounds, but we got that done uh, yesterday and today. So um, it's about 12 o'clock and I got the belt in. We got the head hooked up. So. I'm gonna back this out. I just cleaned the cab out, greased it, got it ready. The auto luber looks like it's pretty full. Might put one tube in there, um, but I'm gonna back it out and run this head. So we got it working. Um, everything's turning, moving good. So it's all hooked up. Should be ready to go, I would think. So we came out here, got some lunch, and then stopped out here on the other side of town. Got the 6145 in. Uh, one of them, and then we got the big silage wagon. We're gonna pull it back home because we're gonna start chopping at home first. So, um, and then we'll have to come back out this way. But we're gonna get this home, and uh, maybe we'll get into some silage today. You never know. Okay, well it's all running good. So we're heading down to the farm. We just raised up the silo. We got a new unloader put in the silo today. Um, so it should be all ready to go. We got it raised up. We got a blower over there. So we're gonna give it a shot here on some corn. All right, well, it's the next day and we are rolling. I can't really film much because I can, I, I, I'm doing good to do this with both of my hands anyways. So uh, 10 rows at a time. We're just taking the first lap off this field, trying to get everything going. Hopefully I can put this in the wagon until I get to the end but it is very difficult to film, so I'm not gonna be able to film a whole lot. Um, maybe maybe once we get out in the middle, but I doubt that we're gonna get to that today. So anyways, we're gonna try to get to the end here, then we'll have a whole pass around the field, so. But man, this thing is crazy, so. It is a big machine. guys we're back from the farm show um, we're getting started chopping some silage I've done a few loads here it's like 5 30 because we had to work on the chopper for a while today did some other stuff so um, but we're getting getting going here trying to get some loads we're filling the big silo which is the one right there in the middle of the three the biggest one so we're, we're in the middle of filling that one probably about halfway right now um, so here comes Cody, I think, coming across. We're back here behind the farm, about 30 acres here. Um, we're about about done with. There's the there's the end of it over there. So, um, anyways, just working on getting this done. It's really difficult to film anything because there's so much going on. Um, but I'll, I'll try to here in a minute. All right, I'm pulling a wagon behind me right now. We've been kind of going back and forth between. Sometimes we'll run on the side, sometimes I'll just pull it depending on what we've got. Um, we don't have very many haulers, so. There it is. Getting off a row. Ten rows at a time. It's a lot of material going through here. It's kind of thin right here, but. about two and a half to three mile an hour depending on what kind of corn it is. Here comes Cody. Uh, this head is a, a an all direction head so you can you can go across the rows, you can go with the rows. Um, it works best to go with the rows because it feeds the best but like here on the end they didn't take all the end rows off. It just goes right through it. Um, 
against the rows, it don't really matter. So that's, that's nice. You don't have to worry about following in rows all the time, especially when you're doing in rows and, and things like that. But I'll fill this wagon here that's behind me. And then uh, we'll, we'll start filling Cody up. Hope that thing lines up back there in the back. I can't see. And it's going in there. You can see it in the mirror there. The sun makes it really difficult to see where it gets difficult here in the evening. Can't see in the wagon one way. There's Cody. All right, I better get off here because this wagon's getting full. I'm gonna have to kind of adjust and, and get it filled up. All right, guys, it's Labor Day. Uh, we chopped a little bit on Saturday. Went to the lake yesterday and now we're back at it this morning. Uh, we're trying to finish up the big silo. We let it settle down over the weekend. Um, it settled down a few doors. So uh, once you put all that stuff in there and you let it sit for a while, it'll it'll settle down and you have room for some more loads. So that's what we're doing here this morning. It's about uh, 11.30. So I think this is gonna be the last load that we need here. It should be finished up so uh, then we're gonna be moving this equipment out to the other side of town we're gonna start on uh, some bags and then uh, we'll, we'll come back later and we got one more silo to fill so but uh, we want to keep feeding out of that silo try to get it as empty as we can uh, so we'll go do the the bags first um, and, and then we'll work on the silo whenever we get done with the bags out there All right, so we got those couple loads in the silo. They're actually up in there right now. Um, but working on this head a little bit, so I was having trouble with it uh, clogging up right, right in this area right here. So uh, talked to our man we bought it from, and and uh, he gave us some advice. He said that uh, sometimes this piece here um, will get worn through and uh, it'll catch the material, it'll jam it in there, and then it'll just start building up and it jams it up in here. And uh, sure enough, there was a little slit in here where it bored through. Um, so I got a piece of metal and put on, tacked it on here and bent it around and got it on there, ground it down nice. So I am uh, getting this piece back in here. Uh, and then we're gonna start moving to the other side of town. Dad and Cody are up in the top of that silo right there leveling it out getting the unloader set up um, so they're gonna they're gonna do that and then uh, we'll uh, start moving this equipment out on the other side of town uh, we'll get started out there today because the corn out there it's getting pretty dry so we need to get out there and get it chopped um, so uh, that's 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 the agenda for today so we're gonna get this back together and then we'll get going all right, I got the head back together. We had to put that shield back on, that shield back on. And it seems to be working okay, but we'll really know once we get into the field. So we'll see what we can, see what happens with it. Hopefully it doesn't plug it up anymore. So um, we're just filled this up with fuel. Um, Nick's getting the 6125 filled up. We got to fill up the 4840. Um, and then we're gonna be heading out to the other side of town. All right, we're getting the first little bit of stuff moved out here. Got some tractors and some wagons, the baggers set up there. So uh, we're not chopping this field here, but we're gonna be chopping across the creek over that way in another bottom that we're gonna, we're gonna got across the creek to get to. So we gotta go back and get some more equipment though. All right, well, it's difficult to film in this thing, as I've already said, but uh, we went over and we got a good bit chopped. We almost got, this entire bag, which you can't even see it, but you can see there at the end of it. It goes all the way back there. 
Um, so we're, it's actually turning out pretty good. The corn's pretty tall. I'll, uh, I'll show you that tomorrow. Um, but we brought it back over here to the barns and uh, we're gonna park it here for the night and we'll get back after it uh, probably like tomorrow afternoon. All right, we just got the chopper serviced. Um, we just had to grease it a little bit and uh, hit the points that the multi-weaver does not. There's Pavel, he's gonna push up some of this dirt. We're digging out a hillside and bringing some dirt in. So we're gonna put it back in there behind that barn, give us some more room there. So it's trying, I don't know, it's acting like it's gonna rain. We can't tell what's gonna happen. So. We need like eight loads to finish up the bag that we have right now. So if we can go down here and get some loads, um, we're gonna do that before. That way we can get the bag done and get the bagger broke down and then get the new bag going. So uh, we're gonna go down here and see if we can get started. Uh, we'll, we'll see what we can do. All right, well we tried chopping earlier and then as soon as we got down the hill, it started raining. So. Uh, we're trying again now. It did rain with like a 110, so I don't know. Dad's probably gonna want to switch me on the morning green 20 right now. I'm just coming over here. He got started a little bit ago. So we're heading over here. We should be able to see him right around the corner here. getting done with this field. We got four more loads after this one. Uh, probably less than that. Okay. Uh, we're getting fooled. Alright, we just got done in that field. We had to chop like two more loads in the other field down in the bottom. Um, but we got that done. So we got it parked here. I'm gonna take the gator down back there to where they're bagging at. And then we'll help them get that finished up. Alright, I just brought the bagger back up here. They coming up with a couple wagons. We broke down the bagger, got it all done. So they're gonna drop those wagons and put a put the tractors in here not sure if we'll take any home or what we're gonna do but anyways that should be it for today oh we're gonna do the double hook with the new wagon that's we just got this wagon for this year it's bigger and it came with this hitch on the back and it almost looks like the previous owner had these exact same hitches that we do because it hooks up perfectly it has a little ball on the top of the hitch for the big pencil hitch on there so uh, pretty cool but uh, i guess that means he's gonna run those home tonight try to get some of the stuff back home because the next thing that we have ready out here is this milo but i don't think it's ready quite yet so uh, we got some more corn to chop at home. We got one more silo to fill. We got that last silo to fill. Uh, we were just waiting a little bit for it to settle down or, or to feed out um, before we started filling it. Um, and then uh, we just gotta get on this sorghum. So we got some sorghum back home and we got some out here. So uh, we still got plenty of chopping left to do. All right, Saturday morning. Uh, we just finished up this field here, about 15 acres. Um, we, we did a little bit, got the inroads off last night. Um, so that gets us pretty close to being done with our corn silage. Um, we're gonna see what the silos got and um, we may need to chop some more back home. 
uh, to finish off that silo and then that'll be it for corn silage for us um, might have some custom work we got to do um, but we got to uh, do our milo that'll be later on though it's got to dry down some more but uh, we're gonna head home and see what the verdict is on the silo and if we're gonna need to chop some more all right well we got the silo fill we didn't have to chop anymore so um, got the 60 30 on the blower over here had to give it a workout here let it do something so we're getting the silo back assembled and then uh, that'll be it